Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, back to do another edition of Sci-Fi Sundays. Now, if you're looking at the title, when you clicked on this video, you'll notice it says Sci-Fi Creature Feature Sundays. This is something I've been thinking about doing for a while. I talked with my good friend Joe the Horror Man to kind of feel him out and get his opinion. Um, I know that I'm a big fan of Creature Features, and I've been wanting to do more of them. So I kind of thought of incorporating it into my science fiction Sundays as a sort of science fiction creature feature Sundays. Because I try to encompass the science fiction and horror and stuff like that. And I'm a big fan of Gamera and um, Godzilla, King Kong, you know, all kinds of creature features. So I, I really wanted to incorporate that into my Sundays. So that's kind of why I changed the title. Not to mention a couple of the science fiction films I picked out have kind of been stinkers. So, <laughs> but um, it's weird with me. I'm much more forgiving with horror films than I am science fiction films. Now, I love science fiction, don't get me wrong, but bad acting, uh, poor special effects, um, low budget, I can forgive that in a horror movie. Not so much in a science fiction film. I guess that's just how I'm wired. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I love horror. I love independent horror. So, you know, low budget doesn't bother me. Bad acting. Crappy effects. It doesn't really bother me. But science fiction? Hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Enough with my rambling. I decided to spotlight a creature feature uh, this weekend. So... The movie I will be looking at is Big Legend. Now, I first want to say thank you to my friend Ted at the movie section. It used to be called the horror section. Now he's the movie section for sending me this. I absolutely adored this film. Had so much fun with it. Now, what I did, I, I love Bigfoot movies. Always have. Legend of Boggy Creek is one of my favorites of all time. Uh, also, a recommendation is exists it's a it's my favorite found footage film pretty much kind of between that and the house the houses that october built but um i did check out primal rage um, i had that on my dvr and i really enjoyed that too now here's the difference with this one i love the acting more and i love the story more and big legend now, Primal Rage, I kind of like the way the Bigfoots were designed a little bit better, but, you know, that's just, this wasn't really meant to be a comparison. I just know I had a few people um, ask me about Primal Rage, uh, specifically my friend Ben over at the Cadaver Club, and I did like it. Um, I just like Big Legend a bit more, so. Anyway, enough rambling. <laughs> Big Legend is a 2018 film which runs 89 minutes, and is written and directed by Justin Lee. Now, Justin Lee is responsible for a few movies. Um, one's called A Reckoning. Another one's called Alone We Fight. And the third one is called Any Bullet Will Do. Now, these trio of characters, actually the duo of characters, are in all three of those movies. Um, Kevin Mackey, Mackley plays Tyler Laird, and Todd A. Robinson plays Eli, let me see if I can read his last name, Varun. Now they play in all three of those movies that I just mentioned. Now this movie also has uh, three big names in it. They have small parts, but they're still big names. Uh, the first is Amanda Weiss, which plays Dr. Wheeler. Now, she, of course, is in two of my favorite movies. Um, she was in the uh, the original A Nightmare on Elm Street, where she played Vida. And she was also in Better Off Dead, where she played Beth. Beth, 
I love Beth. And this also has Lance Hendrickson, who of course was in Aliens, The Terminator, uh, one that Nick and I, the last shoegazer, reviewed, uh, The Garden. Um, you name it, he's basically been in it. He has a very small part, but his part is quite important. Um, I'm not going to tell you what part he plays, because you kind of have to watch the movie, and it's it relates to the overall film. And the last of the three big names is Adrian Barbeau, who plays Rita Laird, which is um, the main character's mom. Again, very small part, but semi-important. Now, a very short synopsis on this film is, in the beginning, a man and a woman go camping. He has just gotten out of the service, and he wants to propose to his girlfriend. Um, as they're camping, she gets basically abducted by something. <laughs> well, we all know this is about Bigfoot, so she gets abducted by Bigfoot. Now, after spending, I think it's ten years later, or five years later, I can't remember how many years it is, but after spending time in a mental institution uh, where he is unable to deal with the loss of his girlfriend slash fiance, because he does propose to her, he goes back out into the woods after he's released to get some answers as to the whereabouts of his fiance. Uh, while he's there, he is hunted by Bigfoot, where he meets another camper in the region, and they both kind of take on the hunt together. Now, this is a creature feature slash horror movie slash action movie, and it's done extremely well, in my opinion. I have heard mixed things on this, but I absolutely adored it. Uh, this one's going to get an 8 from me. Now, I did mention this earlier, but one of the things that kind of was a little bit of a drawback for me, not much, not much at all, but a little bit was the Bigfoot design. And you can kind of see there um, on the cover. Now, everybody has their own idea of what Bigfoot looks like or what they want Bigfoot to look, for, look like. This was kind of more of a mask to me than the actual Bigfoot. But that's just personal preference. Um, you know, you guys make up your own mind. Um, like I said, I like the design of the Bigfoot much better on Primal Rage. But the story and the acting on this one just is so much better. So, But this is definitely a recommendation from me. If you like Bigfoot films, definitely check this one out. If you like creature features, check this one out. If you like kind of claustrophobic, I mean, I got, I kind of got the feeling of claustrophobia in this one, even though they were out in the forest, but it was just because they were being hunted and almost backed in a corner, if you understand my meaning. But um, definitely check this one out. It is a really, really good film and a high recommendation. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.